Hey guys, this is Frozen Things Studios here, and welcome back to another uh, video. And today I'm going to be doing trailer reviews. Yes, plural, because there are two trailers uh, that I, I want to talk about. So, yeah. Um, now, in my previous video, my Bad Boys Right There review, I said that I was going to be doing uh, a video on the Acolyte. Specifically, it was going to be my rant on the Acolyte haters, but. Thinking about it, I decided um not now, not right now. Either I'm gonna do that video after the third episode because I heard that the third episode uh, is where all the uh, gay stuff will happen. The first two episodes are just the you know, basic stuff trying to introduce you to the world, but the third one will be like oh all the gay stuff, uh, pronouns and all that stuff, uh, and that's that's probably a perfect time for me to do it. Or I'll just include a rant on the haters in my initial review of the Acolyte when the show uh, finishes. We'll see about that. But right now, um, there are two trailers that have recently come out within this week and I want to talk about it. So yeah, without further ado, if you want to see my thoughts on uh, these two trailers, then just keep watching. So the first trailer, the first trailer I, wanted, I want to talk about is Alien Romulus, the official trailer. Since I I did a review on the on the official trail of, of the teaser trailer, uh, I thought why not do the same with the official trailer. Uh, so yeah, this is the trailer where we we get to see more info about the film. We get to know more things about the film, and I gotta say, holy shit, what a trailer that was! So uh, it is a trailer where. You, you don't know much about the film. You still don't know a lot of information, but it does enough to keep you hyped uh, up uh, for this film. It does enough to engage you, to convince you that this will be a good movie. Not just a good movie, but an awesome movie. I think this could be one, one of the, the best horror movies of 2024. And I'm going to say this right now, I think that this could be the best Alien movie since... Uh, the, the the best alien movies since uh, Alien and Aliens. Yeah, it could be that level. It it could be good on that level. Could it be the best alien movie? I'm fifty fifty on that. I won't be surprised if it ends up being the best alien movie. Okay, maybe not Aliens because Aliens is like freaking James Cameron. But if this is better than than the first Alien movie, I won't be surprised by that. But yeah. Either way, this movie looks fantastic, and this has raised up my expectations. So. Uh, like, this may be uh, even more high for this. And honestly, this is now uh, among my top five favorite most... This is now among my top five most anticipated movies of the rest of the year. Like, right up there with, you know... Uh, okay, maybe not top five. Cause it, like, thinking about it, there's like five hours that I'm more high for. But this is, would be at number six for me. Uh, definitely my top ten, I will say. But yeah, man... Uh, I just cannot believe how uh, blown away um, I was uh, by this one. Now, this is from the same director as you know, Evil Dead um, 2030, which I think is an underrated gem. And um, yeah, and also Don't Breathe. I love Don't Breathe. Uh, Evil, and Evil Dead 2013, I actually will say, I actually prefer Evil Dead 2013, the Evil Dead 2030 reboot over... Um, over um um evil dead the rise the, the 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 new evil dead and i gotta say it's actually tied it's actually tied with with evil dead 2 as my favorite evil dead movie i i'm decide i'm debating on which one i i prefer more but we'll see uh, um i'll think about it maybe i'll 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 rewatch uh, evil dead uh I rewatch Evil Dead twenty thirteen in in preparation for this film alongside the the Alien franchise. But yeah. Now, uh, I heard uh, from this YouTuber three C Films that people there are people who are are boycotting this film who are giving this film backlash because uh, you know it stars teen actors. Yeah, it stars young teens. Uh, and you know Kaylee Spaney, Isabella Merced. If you guys remember my teaser trailer review, I said that, you know, I had this feeling that, that people would uh, not like the fact that there are teen actors in the film. And I, I thought I was wrong. And I, I was like, oh, wait, people actually don't mind that, that, they, that, that this stars teens and are actually on board with this film. 
I was like, okay, that's good. Okay, but no, the, now now that they saw more about the film and they saw that this stars teen cast, they're like, oh, what the fuck? Why is why is it why does this an alien movie have all kids in it? Oh, this is gonna ruin the movie. Kids are gonna ruin the movie with their TikTok Gen Z bullshit. Yeah. I mean, why do y'all just want old people to star? Why can't we just give uh let why can't you just let the new uh teen actors shine? I mean. I mean, Kaylee Spaney and Isabella Merced uh, being this one, uh, hands down. And I like that Isabella Merced is just growing, 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 constantly growing and becoming a much bigger actress now. Uh, she was the, she was the, the biggest saving grace of Madame Web, uh, a movie which I which gets worse the more I think about it. Although I do think one and a half out of five is my final rating for it. I'm not. I don't plan on dropping my rating. If you guys saw my letterbox. Uh, Isabella Merced was I liked Isabella Merced a lot in in uh in Madame Web but and also she was in Turtles All the Way Down an underrated gem a hidden gem yeah by the way please go watch uh, Turtles All the Way Down um and um and yeah um what else oh yeah upcoming she's in various upcoming movies uh she's she's gonna be in that Superman movie is Hot Girl which I think could be one of her best performance. And especially The Last of Us Season 2 as Dinah, as Dino. Dino or Dinah? Is that how, I, I'm not sure which pronunciation is that, but either way, um, Dina is, is already Isabella Merced's best role. The, the fact that, like, I am already on board with Isabella Merced as Dinah. So, yeah, what I'm trying to say is that, uh, yeah, she's on a roll lately. And Alien Romulus is a movie that, that, that's going to that just show how good uh, she is. Um... And yeah, um, and even Kelly Spaney, I mean, just even Kelly Spaney. Now, yes, uh, she will, I didn't like her Pacific Rim Rising. She was the best part of the movie, I guess, but that's not saying much because fuck Pacific Rim Rising. Uh, but she was in, um, no, recently she's been like getting better after Pacific Rim Rising. You know, you got films like Bad That's at the L.R.L., which is an underrated gem, uh, I, I need to revisit that film someday. That movie is so underrated. Uh, sucks that no one has seen the film. Um, and um, also Priscilla and Civil War. And she's also going to be in the upcoming uh, um, Knives Out movie, Wake Up Dead Man. And, and she's actually my most anticipated uh, star in the film. Alongside Jeremy Renner. It's, it both Kelly Spaney and Jeremy Renner are the two actors. The, the two cast members I'm most excited to see in Knives Out 3. Uh, but, yeah, but Kelly Spaney, I think this could be one of her absolute best performances. Uh, I'm not sure which is going to be the better Kelly Spaney movie of the year, this or Civil War. I think this looks like it could be Civil War level good. Like, when it comes to 2024 movies, I think this could be on the same level as Civil War. Yeah, it looks that good. But, but what's interesting the most about the film besides the young cast is that this is going to be the scariest alien movie like their brain is back into horror territory the previous alien films are were, were mostly just um were the, the previous alien films are, are were mostly just you know thrillers or action i mean we already got an action alien movie with aliens but it looks like it, it, it's like going back to the the, the horror of Alien. While well, also maybe I guess some of the action of Aliens could be in this one. The fact that it's actually trying to recapture uh, Alien, Aliens, uh, Alien, Aliens, like those two go to Alien movies, it, it just shows. And I predict that this could be Fede Alvarez is the best film, period. Uh, and yeah. And yeah, I gotta say, yeah, I am, yeah, my expectations are, are much higher. And the fact that this is gonna be a Disney horror movie, yeah, a horror movie made by Disney under Twentieth Century Studios. Oh, we're in for a while, right? And and yeah, I guess you know people who say that you know um Disney movies are for babies can go shut the fuck up now because I think that Disney buying Twentieth Century Fox uh, now called Studios, I think that really helped them a lot into making more mature adult films. So. I'm very happy that Disney bought 20th Century Fox in there because it shows that Disney is stepping up their, their their game into making riskier films. I mean, now, um, I think I believe now that Disney has bought Fox, uh, uh, an adult-driven studio. Um, now they're making R-rated films, including the upcoming Deadpool and Wolverine. So yeah, I my prediction for this film is that it'll be my second favorite horror film of the year, second only behind Abigail. 
And yes, guys, this is my most anticipated horror film for the rest of the year. More than Maxine, more than A Quiet Place Day 1, more than um, Nosferatu, and yeah, A. Romulus just, yeah, topples them. And this could be my second favorite 20th Century Studios film of the year, secondly behind the Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes. So yeah, and this is uh, by a landslide, my most anticipated movie of August, so yeah. So yeah, now with Alien Obvious out of the way, let's get into the other trailer that I'm going to be reviewing, and that is Piece by Piece. So, as you all know, um, Universal has bought the rights to LEGO Movie. Uh, after LEGO Movie 2 saw uh, flop, which did not deserve in my opinion, uh, um, Warner Bros. has sold the rights to uh, LEGO and... Um, Lego and, and and Universal has bought it, but ever since Universal has bought uh, the the Lego Movie, you know, rights, uh, we have not heard like there has been nothing about a Lego Movie made by Universal uh until now um uh, yeah because uh, Universal is uh is Universal is giving us not only a Lego Movie but a Lego biopic movie yeah so. You know those music biopics that, that we've been getting um, ever since, um, you know, with films like Bohemian Rhapsody, Rocket Man, Elvis, you know, those movies. Also, Bob Marley, One Love, and uh, Back to Black. Yeah, it's basically like one of those, except that they decided, oh, you know what, forget the um, live-action music biopics, let's make it Lego. So, yeah. Now, I am not sure if... Um, I am not sure if uh, this will be a documentary or one of those movie biopics. We'll just have to see. But even as someone who isn't like, a documentary fan myself, I, I, as someone who doesn't like uh, documentaries, who can't stand them, and because of how they just chores to sit through, well, there are some ex um, exceptions to documentary, and this looks like one of them. If this is a documentary, then this could be one of the better ones. I mean, the fact that we're finally getting a Lego movie from Universal is just interesting, to, to say the least. And, and and this trailer really does... It, this trailer really um, really has me sold. Uh, I don't have a lot to say about this one, but I'm, I'm totally in. Um, you know, just the, the film is starting off with Farrell, Will, Farrell Williams being interviewed, and, and then uh, it... it there is from just an inter documentary like interview to a um to um just simply his story and, and it's like it's gonna be a movie um very interesting and Farrell Williams is a very interesting choice uh, for an artist to make a biopic out of uh now Farrell Williams is not one 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 of my favorite uh, artists uh, yeah um Farrell Williams um. I like Farrell Williams, but I don't love him. Uh, I'm not sure which. Uh, well, I like his songs, but I don't really like all my favorites. Uh, yeah, but I do like you. Know, um, his song of, songs. Um, I think I do have a favorite song. Uh, I'm uh, I, but I'm not sure what I can't really seem to remember what it's called. But I think it's like we're up on like the end, so we're on quite like. Yeah, something like that. We're up with, like to get lucky, like that. Yeah, it was playing in the trailer. I forgot what it's called. And um, Happy is a decent song, I guess. It's, it's a little overrated, but it's not. And it's a song that should have gotten nominated. How the fuck did, for the first time in forever, my favorite Frozen One song gets snubbed? Yeah, they nominated the, uh, um, they nominated Happy, which is not an Oscar worthy song. But my 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 personal favorite Pharrell Williams song is. Uh, just a cloud away. Time trying blue is just a cloud away, way, way. Yeah, love that song. Um And also the the film is also featuring a lot of a lot of artists too. Uh now my, I do have one concern about this film and that is Justin Timberlake. Okay, well I, I don't hate I like I like Justin Timberlake uh um, but also, yeah, I gotta admit, I actually like him as an actor, uh, rather than a singer. Yeah, remember him in Social Network? Yeah, that is, um, Justin Timberlake's uh, best thing he's ever done. I think I prefer his acting much more than singing. But here's my problem with Justin Timberlake, uh, being in this. They might feature my least favorite song of all time. K 
Can't stop the feeling. Oh, shut up. Seriously, don't. Please don't tell me they're gonna add that. Can't stop the feeling. Uh, and Justin Timberlake singing that. Oh, God. Don't. Y- please, no. Yeah, um, and even if it, this is technically a Focus Features movie, I forgot to add, it's it's made by Universal in, everywhere, and Focus Features is technically Universal. Uh, I don't think this will be my, my favorite Focus Features movie of the year, especially when we have films like you know, The Bike Rider, Riders, which I predict will be the best Focus Features movie of the year, and also um, Lisa Frankenstein, but I sure as am, am looking forward to this one. I This is my second most anticipated movie of... Uh, October 2024, second only, only behind the Joker fully ado, of course. So, yeah, that's all for my uh, two chair reactions. Uh, that, no, not not reactions, but a review. Yeah, which uh, movie of the two are you more excited for? Um, I'm certainly more hyped up for Alien Romulus. So, yeah. With, and, and I got a question. Uh, what is your most anticipated horror movie for the rest of the year? Would it be Alien Romulus or would it be another um, something else? So, and are you interested in seeing piece by piece? Uh, so yeah, comment down below, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and stay tuned for my uh, stay tuned for my rant on the Angry Birds movie. I was supposed to do that in July or August, but considering that Angry Birds three, uh, Angry Birds movie three has been announced, uh, might as well be a better time for me to rant on on that shitty franchise. Uh, so yeah, bye guys.